All right, 12's getting pumped for the playoffs, and a lot of folks looking for playoff tickets. If you're looking for a deal, guess what? Criminals are looking for you. We're working to help you avoid becoming a victim of a ticket scam. David Quinlan here from the Better Business Bureau, and I was just uh, reading some statistics yesterday saying this is the most expensive wild card round ticket available out there. People are going to be spending between $200 to $400 on average just to get into this game on the secondary market. So what are the, some of the common mistakes that folks make when they, they buy? tickets this way sure it's the emotional purchase it's when we put our guard down and you know I get it it's the playoffs the the hype is there people want to get their hands on tickets it's so expensive they're looking for deals but once we put our guard down start making poor decisions poor purchasing decisions and going with that shady transaction in the back alley somewhere or wiring money to who knows where, that's where we uh, make our big mistakes. And believe it or not, it happens. All right, so running down uh, some of the uh, ways to avoid these playoff ticket scams. Yeah, and we, as we said, avoid the fumble, avoid those shady transactions when you don't know the ticket seller. Uh, those prepaid debit cards or wiring any money in advance, bad idea. Use a credit card so you can dispute the, uh, the charges if there's anything fishy going on. Be on the defense. Uh, obviously, check with bbb.org first to find legitimate ticket sellers uh, that can actually guarantee the authenticity of the ticket. Know what the real ticket looks like. This is so important. Yeah, what are, what are the signs of a legitimate playoff ticket? Flimsy paper, bad idea. You have to think everybody's got these high-tech color printers now. So fill the okay. ticket. If it's flimsy, if the the you know the edges are uneven, if you see any smear uh, ink smears on the ticket, uh, red flag. So actually go and try to find a real ticket, see what it feels like, and use that as your uh, kind of your guide as you know as you try to buy these tickets from individuals. And the other thing, of course, avoid the false start. Look for uh, legitimate ticket resellers out there that uh, check out with a better business bureau that have a good rating with us. What if we're buying tickets online? That, that's exactly it. I mean, if you're buying tickets online, which is what a lot of people do, you want to make sure you go through a ticket reseller that has a good reputation, good customer reviews, that checks out with Better Business Bureau, that can guarantee the authenticity of the ticket, that they actually hold the vendor uh, responsible in case the ticket is fraudulent, so that they have the insurances um, in place for the consumer, protecting the consumer. You're going to pay more money for those type of tickets, but at the end of the day, you'll have peace of mind and you don't have to worry about getting turned away at the right, game. Right. And if somebody is uh, thinking about maybe heading down to the stadium and maybe trying to get a, a scalp ticket, day of game, what, what would your advice be? Good luck. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be expensive. And, and again, it's rolling the dice. It's just like going to the online classified sites and, and going through individual ticket sellers. You might find a deal, uh, but we see so many instances where people spend hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on tickets and they think they're legitimate and they turn out to be fake and they don't realize until they get up to the, the ticket gate. Yeah, avoid that heartbreak and make sure that those tickets are legit. David Quinlan, thank you so yeah, much. Nice Always to see good you. to have you. And uh, Liz, over to you.